Hello and welcome to this video provided by Fudge Learn on Oracle eBusiness Suite. I'm going to be talking specifically about advanced collections changes in release 12.2 and there's plenty to talk about believe me. Release version 12.2.3 for advanced collections provides a new concurrent request called put strategy on hold slash release. This enables a hold to be placed or released on individual collection strategies or alternatively across all or specific operating units. This will be useful for collections teams, say for example if it's identified that a collection strategy is not having the required impact and therefore needs to be replaced or revised. From version 12.2.4, improved work item management is available. Work items, promises to pay and collection strategies can all be automatically reassigned to an alternative collector using a new concurrent request called Synchronise Collector Work. This could be really useful, say for example, if a collector goes off on long-term sick or if there's a redistribution of work within the collections team. From release 12.2.6, it will be possible to use grouping and aggregation to enable analysis of related accounts by either collection strategy, collector or score. Also available at this version will be the capability to define strategy actionable work item template rules based on the percentage amount collected. The Enterprise Command Centre receivables dashboards are available from release 12.2.8. These provide key data and also the capability to support more proactive and preventative collections activities for customer delinquency. The information available in the dashboards includes things like transactions ageing, past due balances, highest outstanding balances, and weighted average days delinquent. The data provided is near to real time, meaning that changes can be reflected minute by minute, which is a lot quicker than running a concurrent request, which only provides a snapshot of data at the time it was run. The dashboards can also provide the capability to connect to the advanced collections forms, reducing the amount of navigation and automatically accessing the relevant responsibility. Again, speeding up processing for collections teams. If you'd like more information or have any specific questions about release 12.2 changes, then please do go to our website. You can use this QR code, which will take you straight there. We'll also be providing further information and videos on Oracle products impacted by release 12.2. So don't forget to click on subscribe and then on the bell in YouTube to receive updates when we make further videos available. You can also add comments and we'd love to hear your thoughts. Finally, here are some sources of further information.